Hi everyone, Holly here with Becker School Supplies. Now the Science Center is my favorite part of the early childhood classroom, but I know that sometimes it can be challenging to keep that space engaging all year long. So Becker's has put together a fantastic Science Center kit filled with tools and objects and other great things to really reinvigorate your Science Center. Now I wanna share with you some of the ways that I like to use those tools and objects to really extend the learning beyond the Science Center. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today, we're talking about rocks in the Science Center. Rocks are fantastic for practicing science skills. You can weigh them, you can see how long they are, all really great ways of practicing measuring. But then what? <laughs> so I wanna show you a way that you can use the rocks that you already have in your Science Center to learn about birds. Birds are fascinating subjects for your early childhood classroom, and they use rocks quite frequently. So we're going to talk about two ways that birds use rocks today. And the first has to do with their babies. Now, if you ask any preschooler, how do birds take care of their babies? They're going to tell you about nests. But did you know that some birds will actually make their nests out of rocks? So let's take a look. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find sort of your egg rock. Pick one of your rocks that sort of looks like an egg and put it aside. Now you're going to challenge the students to make a nest out of the remaining rocks in the science center. This is great for fine motor skills. They have to balance. They're going to have to make a, um, a circle with their rocks. They can build it up a couple of layers deep. Also that their nice egg rock has a place to go and be nice and safe. So now we're going to stick our rock in the middle. Not only is it protected by the rocks, it also blends in. It's a great time to talk about camouflage. Building a rock nest is one way to connect the rocks near Science Center with birds. Now, the other way has to do with how some birds eat. Now, when we eat, we use our teeth to break up our food before we swallow it. Now, birds, they don't have teeth. So they have lots of different ways of making sure that they're able to swallow and digest their food. And some of those ways have to do with rocks. Now, some birds will swallow rocks or sand or grit to help grind up that food in a very special organ called a gizzard. So to sort of get students thinking about how those rocks might grind up the food that these birds eat, I want to share an activity with you. Right away, my young scientist starts to sort the rocks she's been given. She takes the two that look the most similar and puts them aside. Now she's left with two rocks that don't look alike at all, and she's not sure where to put them. So I encourage her to use all of her senses, not just her sense of sight. So she starts to feel the rocks, and she realizes that some of the rocks are rough and some of them are smooth. So I ask her to take her two smooth rocks first, and I hand her this leaf. I show her that we're going to rub the leaf between the two rocks and see what happens. So this is a little tricky fine motor skills wise, so I help and I put the leaf between her two rocks. So she rubs and rubs and rubs and not much changes. Basically, the leaf goes uh, just sliding across the surface of these smooth rocks. So I ask her to grab the rocks that she said were rough from the beginning. And I hold the leaf up and ask her to do the same thing she did with her smooth rocks. Now, if we get a little bit closer, we can see now there are bits of the leaf that are breaking off. So the leaf is changing being rubbed between these two rocks. Now she gets even more leverage with her rough rocks and uses them flat on the plate to really change the shape. This is one of my favorite activities for the Science Center, and I bet it'll be your students' favorite activity too because it gets a little messy at the end. I hope everything I shared with you today helps you think differently about the objects in your Science Center. Now, if you need rocks or other really cool tools for your Science Center, please check out shopbecker.com and check out our Science Center kit. It's filled with all of the tools and objects you need to really make your Science Center exciting. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon with more Science Center tips for your classroom from Becker School Supply.